How low, though, can the U.S. currency go? Of course, we're talking about uh, the dollar. I'm joined by Mark Chandler. He's global head of currency strategy for Brown Brothers Harriman. So, Mark, let me ask you, how low can it go in your view? Well, you know, we're not really at even levels that, uh, that take out last year's lows for the dollar. Remember last year, last July, the euro got up to 160. Today, we're just flirting with the 150 level. You know, last, uh, last year, we were above 200 on the British pound, and today, we're at about a 166, 165 area. So I think that we really have to keep this move in perspective, and I think that what's happening is that in the second half of last year, first quarter of this year, the dollar had a big rally. In the last six months, we're unwinding that, but the dollar is not at new extremes, by any stretch of the imagination. I think that's a great point. Um, I think it's a really great point. We're down about 7% as you say so far this year and it's certainly not the magnitude we saw last year. All right, so then what should we be worried though about, Mark, when it comes to the currency trade and the dollar specifically? Well, I, I think that uh, we need to keep things in perspective. You know, there's a, uh, uh, I'm looking at some articles here, one from the Economist magazine saying how the world's abandoning the dollar. Another newspaper article here saying that uh, some Asian countries are diversifying reserves. Look at another article here saying some OPEC countries are considering denominating their oil in foreign currencies. The strange thing about these articles is that they're from February 1995. <laughs> so I think the first thing to do is keep this in perspective. And just like in a, in a rising stock market, everything looks good. In a falling dollar environment, the, uh, the challenges the U.S. faces look overwhelming. And it's mostly a question of psychology. I think the U.S. does face some serious challenges. But when I look around the world, it seems to me the U.S. is best positioned to address these, these challenges. Let me ask you too, Mark. You know, we talked about the G20. Nobody really talked about the dollar. I mean, is it safe to say, though, the U.S. administration wants a weaker dollar? It helps those exporters. It uh, certainly helps our economy. Yeah, you know, I don't really get it, you know. I, I see countries like uh, Canada talking their own currency down, the U.K. talking their own currency down, Swiss National Bank, they have a current account surplus mm -hmm. and high single digits, and they're talking their own currency down. And yet I hear the U.S. administration talking their currency higher, saying, they support a strong dollar, and we wonder if the U.S. doesn't really support a weaker dollar. I just don't get the, this, this uh, thing here. I think that the, uh, the point I would make is that there's, there's merit to a strong dollar policy. Right. It's a signal to our, uh, to our creditors that we're not going to devalue the dollar to devalue our way out of debt. But I think that in general, the, the thing to worry about, I think, is this, this psychology that, just, that mm -hmm. just can't get any traction. I think that officials could help us by giving us, uh, by, okay. by giving us a fiscal equivalent of a strong dollar policy. Right. That psychology, though, though, can be a very strong factor. Hey, Mark, thank you so much. Mark Chandler, Global thank Head you. of Currency Strategy for Brown Brothers Harriman.